Today, we celebrate 25 years of the ministry David's Christian Center. But in reality, there is no celebrating the church without a celebration of the man behind the vision. Visionary leader, pastor, teacher, mentor, father, and friend, Pastor Kingsley Okonkwo. His journey into ministry is an interesting one that continues to inspire many to live for an audience of one. He started off as a bad boy himself, but shows us that God is able to use anyone, and I literally mean anyone, for his purpose. I was the kind of bad boy that somebody just coming to talk to me is not likely to change me. In their hemp smoking, pistol carrying. Prostitute patronizing. Stealing, ready to do anything. I was bad, I was a bad boy and I'm committed to everything I do. His parents did all that they could to no avail. And as a last resort, they sent him off to his brother in Makodi. They hoped that as a soldier, he would be able to knock some sense into him. But he understood that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So instead, he got some of his friends together and they prayed some sense into him. Kingsley, you will not be lost. You will be saved. You will fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. PK, as we fondly call him, gave his life to Christ. And from that moment, he knew like he knew his name, the path God had called him to, ministry. But not everyone agreed with him. What do you mean you're not going to school? Papa, what I want to do is ministry. So I don't see any point in that. In your mature noge. There? HM needs only about well. That was what I thought though. Eh? Kisly! What is the meaning of all this one now? Listen, you see this Bible school, ministry, whatever it is you call it. I won't tolerate it. Isn't it funny that the very thing they had prayed for was manifesting right before their eyes, but they couldn't recognize it. Who's this now? I thought this boy has changed. Papa, Mama. I've made up my mind to follow God's word over everyone else. Uh -uh. I'm going to Bible school and no one is going to stop me. Uh -uh. Kiss me, Bia! PK took Bible school very seriously. And one day, he decided to seek God's face for direction by praying and fasting for three days. And so he started... Shush. You can see I'm praying. Keep it down. Sorry. Sorry. And so he started staying away from food and listening for the voice of God. Oh. Oh, mama. Thank you, Mama. You're good. Thank you, Mama. Mona. Mama won't show up. Why did you say the first? Ah, Mama, you're not the only one that is shocked though. Piki, aren't you supposed to be fasting for three days? Yes, but God has sent his word. Oh. The vision had been given. The mission was clear. The assignment had begun. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Because I know that some people go begin the dance now. Don't you just they start to relax. Relax. Thank you, DJ. <clears throat> so, where were we? Ah, yes. If Peter said he wants to walk on water and Jesus said, Come, then if, you're, if you have a project, God is saying, Come. There's nothing. If you put anything in God's hand, it will come to pass. I want you to trust in God. Trust in His Word. Everything was going really well. And then suddenly... Nobody must come here tomorrow. Service will no longer hold here. 
We are moving to a bigger venue. What? Why are you looking at me? I'm just going with the flow too. With God, there is always growth. Nothing remains small. But that doesn't mean there weren't challenges. You don't cut Korea, Zakabia. But you just like that. You don't cut Korea, Zakabia, put in that. No, but you call it. You guys should go to the little bar, copy. Hey, hey. Oh, thank God, PK is already here. What's the problem? Imagine this nonsense. Everybody is ready for service, and this guy is refusing to open the gates. He says, order from above. I'm telling you, ready for service. Yes, I have. Come down, let me talk to you. Aboki, 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 Zomana, Aboki, Zomana, Zo, Zo. Aboki, what's in the apple now? Oh, God, I'm so much of a comfort. Many of you want the money. PK tried to convince the man to let them use the place just for that day until the man made an unholy suggestion. You want me to bribe you? Everybody, Everybody. Go, 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 but still, he felt something was missing. His missing rib. So he put the word out and his friends started to look out for him. This babe is perfect. No, if you meet her, you will marry her today, today, Calm today. Down. Tell this Calm guy. Down. Tell this guy. Tell this guy. I have a bad feeling about this, so. How do you talk? No, I didn't talk. No, man. It ended up being a colossal disaster. I'll spare you guys the details. You would think he had learned his lesson. But no. This time, it was Badagri. PK, PK, listen to me. Okay, I'm done. Hey. Hey. Come on. Oh, so now you want to listen to me? Thou shalt not hold a grudge. Really? Anyway, if you want answers, you know what to do. God instructed him to God instructed him to plan a reunion for his secondary school classmates. And that was where he met his wife. She was also a previous classmate who volunteered to bake the cake for the reunion party. The rest, they say, is history. You're so strong Beneath the fears in your eyes You're so brave The world may always deny you your place your art is so beautiful, you're always debatable, yeah. And I know, and I know. you're so fine in the whole I just love love. So <sighs> love is a beautiful thing. Even the scripture says it is not good for a man to be alone, because one will chase one thousand, 
and two with chase 10,000. It was obvious they were fulfilling the scripture that says the path of the just shall shine brighter and brighter until the perfect day. But still, there were challenges. Yet, they did not relent, sowing seeds of the word. You know the woman with the issue of blood? That's kind of thing my wife was going through. She used to bleed uncontrollably. She had had PCOS since when she was a teenager. She said, doctors have told me that I will have difficulty or it will almost be impossible for me to give birth naturally. I said, who told you that you won't have to say that? that doctor. I said, who is doctor? By faith, she received strength to conceive. Sowing seeds of work. In the next two weeks, I'm going to be traveling. I preached in Keja uh, on Thursday. I flew to Ilori on Friday morning. I left from 5 a.m. Got to Ilori, preached Friday um, evening in Ilori. Preached Saturday morning and evening in Ilori. Preached Sunday, Monday, which is today. I flew into Abuja. I'm preaching now. I'm going to preach here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Take a break on Thursday. Friday, I'm flying to Patakot. Seeds of finances. God has inspired us. Show your first one million naira. See, it was many years ago. <laughs> so we started saving all our oh, money. Oh, that you know. period was hard. You give me a bag of rice, then Basket I'll sell, sell a bag of rice. Because I wanted no to No matter my what came into our lives, we would sell it. Yes. So we had one million ten thousand, and we planted the seed in church then. And true to God's word, yeah, money started coming, coming in. In the next two or three months, I gave one million like two other times. Right. And of course, seeds of prayer. It is only in the place of prayer that we kind of partner with God, that we invite God, that we bring God's power. We bring God's power into play in any situation. With these, they fought the good fight of faith. And as David never lost a battle, so will God's work with you be. Victory is always sure. I believe in you. Yes, God. And you have taught me. Then please let me just crave your indulgence to help me celebrate the love of my life. My king, my friend, my brother, my pastor. I see you, I see you. Look what he's done for you. 